Coast uh, from Botswana. By, I work, I live in the United States. The last time I came by this church was 2018. I came to celebrate the birthday of the church and I had, uh, I had the opportunity to buy some mediums with me because I was going to United States to start to work there, to live there. So I left 20, the end of 2018. I think it was in December. I'm not, I don't remember quite well. So after being in the uh, United States for some time, I was uh, attacked by disease. I didn't know what was it because I woke up just fine. I went for my exercises. I came back, I noticed that I'm having a headache and I didn't know, I couldn't explain what kind of headache was there and it persisted. So I kept on taking one pill after another the whole day because my son went to work, he, I was alone in the house. Um, so when he, after he got back from work, he, I told him about the headache and he decided, ah, ah, let's go see the doctor. We went to the doctor, to the hospital, and they asked me to go straight to the scan. The scan is the machine that, uh, you know, looks through you to let them know what's the problem. So they screened my head, and the doctor said, you, you have a stroke. And that time I didn't, I couldn't understand, I couldn't believe it, because I, I, I know what the stroke big people look like. They cannot move, and I was still moving myself, so I was kind of in denial. But I did, uh, you know, I was admitted from that day. I stayed in the hospital for 31 days from that day uh, because they was trying to figure out how are they going to help me. Uh, I, th I, at the, I think it took longer because of uh, the medication. It wasn't responding to what they think they are seeing in me. So they kept on changing drugs after drugs every day, every week, and all that. Uh, but while they are doing that, I kept in touch with men of God to tell them where I am, what's going on with my life. But by the grace of God, my, his prayers, and being myself, yes, I, I mind my prayers, I, I was doubting. If I'm having stroke, I'm going to be crippled. That's what my belief was. And he was praying for me and through his faith and being, you know, the father that we have, everything went well. I was in Let us clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> Mama, for how long have you been, were you suffering this pain and headache before you, were, before you contacted the man of God? Um... I contacted him immediately after being admitted. I think maybe a week later or something, just around there, but it wasn't that long. For how long were you in the hospital? 31. 31, 31 days. days. Mm -hmm. And after the man of God prayed for you, what are the ch changes you saw in you, in your health? Because you already told us that the medication they were giving you were not actually getting the desired results. So after the man of God prayed for you, what are the ch changes you noticed? Oh, uh, there was a lot of changes, yes, because I, I, I trusted his, his word. Uh, my, uh, because I knew that um, I wasn't that power strong enough myself to do it by myself. I was relying on him, but it worked for me because I said, if he, my father, my spiritual father is praying for me, I'm going to walk out of this place, uh, you know, the same way, you know, I was a couple of weeks, you know, normal. Yeah, so it did work. And here I am after that, after being discharged, I stayed just a couple of months. And I prayed for a job and I was blessed with a job. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <clears throat> what are the things you were not able to do that you can do now? Um, my... I had, uh, I was slow in speech, kind of. They can detect it, I couldn't tell. But they were telling me, you know, some of the ways I'm not saying them right. So, 
that's how it is, uh, it was. But uh, after some time I was, you know, they wrote that off, they said I, I, I'm healed. Because they, they will keep on kind of making a class where you go for speech therapy and, you know, they, they will look how you are doing and they will just say, uh -uh, he doesn't need our help anymore. Okay, Mama, now we have seen the congregation here, the saints here present, and viewers all over the world are listening to you, can dictate, can hear you clearly, and there is no defect in your speech. Um, we knew that sometimes people who had stroke, they cannot walk freely, but today you are testifying, can you walk to the glory of God? Let us see that you are healed totally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just walk, walk around, walk around, walk around. To the glory of God, we glorify you, the God of now. Amen and amen. Mama, we thank you so much for this wonderful demonstration of power of God. And you are here all the way from United States of America. You come down here to testify what the God of now, what the God of Shekana, glory of faith, Mr. have done for you. Mama, please, there are people on the prayer line today and viewers all over the world who have been suffering, who are on the sick bed, those who are crying, those who are gnashing teeth this morning, Asking, where is my God? What is your word of advice for people in this category? My word of advice is to believe and trust. That's all I had, but I was leaning so much into men of God because, you know, you all, we always doubt. Say, hey, you know, can, am I strong enough to, you know, pray for myself? So I had a father who I, I can, you know, at least talk to every now and then when I feel, you know, Weak in my spirit. Amen and amen. Mama, we but thank you I so think, much. I thank God. We thank you so much. We thank you so much for this wonderful testimony. I know that you are so much happy that if we allow you to continue, you may end up tomorrow morning. Mama, we say may the perfect peace of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. And the congregation here is present is praying with you that your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We look forward to seeing you more and more for more glorious testimony in the mighty name and in the blood of Thank Jesus you. Christ. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. amen.